All right, get ready to lace up your shoes. It's going to be a beautiful mm -hmm. weekend to walk for a worthy cause. A fundraiser to bring awareness about sarcoidosis is taking place this Saturday. Plus, a clinic in Houston is helping treat patients like never before. Janine Sarcoidosis Outreach Foundation invites you to join them in Bel Air to raise funds and awareness about sarcoidosis, a condition that affects each patient differently. The National Institutes of Health offers this view of how many organs it can affect. It affects the kidneys, lungs, heart, even the brain and the spinal cord. Dr. Sika with UT Health calls it the disease with a hyperactive immune system that causes clumps of inflammation throughout the body. He came to Houston to work in the comprehensive sarcoidosis clinic at UT Health. The clinic initially opened about two to three years ago, but in the last year we've actually made a lot of progress. We have uh, a multidisciplinary group of doctors. We come together every month to talk about challenging cases. We have uh, doctors who take care of sarcoidosis in the brain. We have ones who take care of sarcoidosis in the lungs, the liver. We also have a bone metabolism clinic that comes helps us with patients who have uh, bone erosion secondary to corticosteroids. Dr. Sika says they're offering effective treatments with fewer side effects now. And McCarroll is thankful that Houston has the clinic. The disease claimed the life of her beloved daughter Janine before treatments were readily available. My daughter became ill and we had no idea what her illness was, but when she finally got a uh, diagnosis on a Monday, she died the next Monday at 31 years old from a disease that we were told was sarcoidosis, something we had never heard of. Emma could find little information about the condition 20 years ago, so she put her grief into outreach and started the foundation in her daughter's name to help educate others. Now it has grown into an international awareness campaign. When someone contacted us, not that we were glad that they had it, but we were glad to know that we were not alone and we wanted them to know that they were not alone. Jacqueline says she never knows how the complicated disease will affect her from day to day. And the other sarcoidosis patients surrounding her agree. Right now it's affecting the eyes, so it messes with the vision. It creates pain. You can feel the vessels swelling from the inflammation. So it alters the life. Uh, if it's affecting the lungs, you're not breathing good. Uh, I have challenges with it attacking my skin, and that means I can't be outside in the heat because the sun burns the skin. So whatever organ is attacking is how it's going to affect our life and what we can and cannot do. She is not Dr. Sika's patient, but she's thrilled with what he's doing at the clinic. I am so hopeful. We are so hopeful. <laughs> we are so hopeful. One of the things I always say in my story is my mother was diagnosed with it, but it was too late for her diagnosis. So I don't want my daughter or my granddaughter to go through this and not have a cure for it. So every day I'm excited and hopeful and praying for this clinic and getting the word out. I want everybody to know about sarcoidosis. We want people to walk this weekend, right? Walk, yes. walk, yes. yes, walk. There is no cure for sarcoidosis and patients are often treated with steroids and chemotherapy. Clinical trials are underway to help lead the way to better treatments. And the walk is this Saturday, so you just have a few days to go. It'll start at Bel Air City Hall. Doctors and researchers from around the country will actually be there sharing vital information. If you happen to drive through the Texas Medical Center, look out this weekend. Okay. You will see purple lights everywhere, and that is to help raise awareness about this disease a lot of people don't know about. Mm -hmm. So we have all that info for you at fox26houston.com. All right. Uh, raising awareness, that's the mm -hmm. first step.